Plant health and adjacent concerns for soil health was brought into sharp focus on the inaugural International Day of Plant Health. This comes as the Research and Development Division of the Agriculture Ministry hosted a showcase featuring displays of various elements within the area of plant health. Thematic concerns such as alternatives to pesticide use and pest incursions were highlighted all in an effort to bring about awareness and increased discourse on the connection between food security, sustainable agriculture, a socio-economic reality and plant health. Chief Plant Research Officer attached to the Plant Research and Development Division, Hannah Romaine, explains that plants are the source of the air we breathe and most of the food we eat. She says the exhibition sheds light on issues affecting plant health and steps that can be taken to address them. We have worked with key agencies in ensuring that our health of our plants is maintained through the work that we do and our work program, we work with farmers, all right, in ensuring that we, we develop innovative techniques in protecting our plants. And I am happy, you know, that plant health this day really and truly embraces all of our partners, our farmers, our, 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 exporters, our importers, the florists, oh, everybody, because we do understand how important it is to safeguard our plants. Representative of the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture, ICA, to the Eastern Caribbean states, Greg Rollins, highlights that his organization has undertaken several initiatives geared at supporting plant health in St. Lucia, including the development of updated plant health regulations for St. Lucia. In reaffirming ICA's ongoing support to the Research and Development Division in its quest to implement a robust suite of actions to build resilience in plant and soil health, Mr. Rollins has signaled the deepening of ties between the Ministry of Agriculture and ICA in 2022. And we wish to reiterate to everyone our commitment to supporting stakeholders here in St. Lucia in their efforts to protect and safeguard plant life. Without plant life, there will be no human existence. And we therefore need to do all that we can to safeguard plant life, not only here in St. Lucia, but around the globe. The initiative aimed to raise national awareness on how protecting plant health can help end hunger, reduce poverty, protect the environment, and boost economic development in St. Lucia. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.